In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make this exact simulation in Blender and you will learn how to uh, turn any simulation into an image. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by adding the rigid body physics to the cube, so that we're going to have to add it individually to the cubes later on. Then I'm going to set the friction to 1 and the damping translation to 0.35 in the rotation 2.6, which I think looks the best for a uh, cube simulation. Okay, and then next we're going to add an array modifier to uh, duplicate the uh, cube. And then let's set it to 10 on the x-axis. And I press Shift D to duplicate the modifier. Then we're going to set the uh, factor to uh, 1.05 on the y-axis and then 1.5 on the z-axis for the last modifier. And then we can apply the modifiers by pressing Ctrl A. And then we need to go into edit mode, press tab for edit mode, then P and separate by loose parts. And then tab to go back to object mode and then make sure to set the origin to geometry so that they each have their own origin points, which is important for the simulation. Okay. And then we can press R to rotate. And then I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate. And then you can press R twice to rotate the cube of cubes freely. And then press Shift D, then set to duplicate and move it on the Z axis. Okay, so now we have the cubes. And if you select one of the cubes individually, you can see that they all have the physics settings because we added it to the first cube. I press Shift A and add a plane. This is going to be our floor, so press S to scale. And then press G, then set to move it on the set axis. And then I'm going to save. So press Control S to save. And then just give it a name and you can save it wherever you want on the computer. And then I'm going to add some passive rigid body physics to the plane. And when you press spacebar, you can see what it's going to look like. And I think I'm going to move the cubes a bit higher. So uh, let's go to wireframe selection and then press Alt A to deselect everything. Then press B to box select and then press G then set to move them on the Z axis. And then press Alt A to deselect everything, B to box select and then G then set to move the last cube of cubes on the Z axis. The next step is to bake the simulation. So I'm going to bake from frame one to frame 1000 and then say one more time and then we can start the bake and this bake is probably going to take a, a couple of hours but uh, once it's done you will have a uh, very cool simulation okay so uh, let's go through the simulation and then the next step of the tutorial is to set up the camera so press ctrl alt and then pad 0 to set the camera to the current point of view and then increase the end value for the camera to increase the range of the camera. Then press N, go to view, and then you can lock the camera to view. I'm going to set it around here. And then press I and I to keyframe the location and rotation of the camera at the last frame. And then press B to box select. And then go into edit mode so that we can unwrap these uh, cubes for the image texture. Then press A to select everything, and then drag the top right corner. And then we're going to uh, press numpad zero for the uh, camera point of view. And then we will unwrap using this camera perspective. So we'll press U, and then project from view. As you can see, we get the uh, camera perspective. And then next, we can add an image to the UV editor. So I'm just going to add the Blender logo. And then we can go into render view. And the texture is still not added to the actual material. So go into the material properties. And then I'm going to uh, switch from the principal shader to the diffuse shader to simplify this. And then we will add an image texture. 
and then select the Blender logo on the left side of the uh, new button. Okay, and I'm going to save one more time. Next, we're going to set up the render settings. I'm going to start off by switching from EV to Cycles, and then use a GPU. And then I'm going to set the number of samples to 500, and uh, turn on the noising as well. If you do not have a GPU, you can just use the CPU, but it's going to be slower. And as you can see, we have the logo, but we can switch to the sun for the light source and set the strength to 3. You can also press R twice to rotate the sun freely. And as you can see, we have the logo in the last frame. We can also add a material to the floor, but I'm just going to keep it white. Now, when we move on the timeline, you can see that we start off with uh, a bunch of cubes with uh, different patterns, and they all end up looking like this because we, of course, projected from view at the last frame. Next, I'm going to set up the output settings. I'm going to set the resolution to 4K. If you just want to keep it at 1080p, you can just leave it at 100%. And then you need to select a folder for the final render output. So just create a folder wherever you want on your computer. And then you can save these as PNGs in that folder. Okay, and then next I'm going to animate the camera. So I'm going to press I to keyframe and move the camera a bit backwards so that we start off a bit back and then move towards the uh, cubes at the end. And right now the background is a bit too dark, so I'm just going to make the world background a bit brighter. You could also add a wall, but uh, that would greatly increase the render time. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And then you can press I to keyframe the current location of the camera. So I and I. And when we move on the timeline, you can see that we have a nice little camera animation as well. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, select the lights and then decrease the strength of the light. And by decreasing the strength of the sun, it's uh, a bit easier to see the uh, cubes. And I'm also going to save one more time. And now we're ready for the uh, final render. Let's go back to solid view, go to render, and then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will post more simulation tutorials for Blender very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.